we have implemented create, read and delete operation till now. In this video, we will implement update operation. So let's add action method in our controller class. We'll have to add two action method. One is HTTP GET to retrieve the makes when user click the edit button. Another one will be the HTTP POST to save the changes to the database once the user will click the update button after editing the makes. So let's copy the delete action method and paste it. Change the name of this method to edit. Everything will remain same like we are finding the makes using our DB context and assigning it to our make variable. And if make is not available in database, we will return not found error. Let's delete these two lines because we do not need any database changes. We just need to return a view and pass the makes to this view. That's it. So our HTTP method to retrieve the make is completed. HTTP post method is very similar to our create action method. So copy that and paste it and make the changes as per our need. Replace this add method to update because we need to update the existing make. DB context update command accepts the database entity object as parameter and entity framework will update all the fields in database automatically. As our make entity have only two properties id and make, it is fine to use update command. But think of an entity uh, where we do have 100 of properties. In that case, entity framework will run a command to update all the fields in associated table, even though we need to update only few properties. So that will not be a good approach in that case, because it will create a performance issue in our application. We'll understand another approach in our upcoming video. For now, let's use update command. Rename it to edit. That's it. Our action method is complete. Let's add view for the same. Right click on edit view and select add view. Click add. As our view will be the very similar to the one we previously created for our create view. So let's copy this and paste it in our edit view. And we will make the modification as per our need. Rename the header text to edit. Change the title to edit and call the action method edit. Rename the button caption to update and pass the ID of our make that is to be edited using tag helper method. ASP route ID equals at the rate model dot ID. That's it. Control shift V to build the application. Refresh the page and try to edit a make. Perfect, it's updated. Let's edit it back to the previous one. So you have completed all the CRUD operations now. Let's beautify our buttons using awesome fonts. Before version 4 of Bootstrap, we had an option to add glyph icons font. But from version 4, support of that has been removed. But we can use font awesome to add beautiful icons in our application. So go to the website fontawesome.com. We can add this CDN link in our project, but for production release, using CDN link is not recommended. It is always recommended to download the library and add it to the project. You can download the library from the link given below and can follow the instruction to add it to the project. But I am using CDN link for our course, so copy this URL and add it to our layout page. Let's add it for both production and development environment. After adding the same, we can search for the required icon from the search icon box. Let's search for edit icon for our edit button. This one looks good to me. So let's click on this. Press this button. Copy the HTML. Go to our index page and just replace this edit text with the one we have copied. Save it and let's see how it look like. Refresh the page. Great, it's looking really awesome. 
let's search for another icon for delete button this one looking good click on it click start using this icon and copy the HTML as input is self closing tag and it is not allowed to any other element inside it so we'll have to change this tag to button close this tag remove the value attribute and paste the copied HTML here save it and refresh the page perfect it's looking great let's check if everything working fine or not after these changes great so everything working fine let's add a small bike icon before this text go to the font awesome website and search for bike icon this one looking good so follow the same process copy html go to our index page just before the text paste the copied html add some space save it and refresh the page great it's awesome let's try to add few bikes perfect so now you have good idea of adding beautiful icons in place of plain buttons next we will add model type till now we have used a single table to retrieve and save the data but for model type we'll have to use make to display various makes in drop down along with model types properties so for such kind of situation where we need to pass more than one entity to our view we have to use view model so that is the new thing you will learn in upcoming video meanwhile you can search for the view model and understand the purpose of same and try to create model controller and view at your own stay tuned and see you in next video